Hi guys Sportsia News Briefs. Messi hits winner as PSG come back against Toulouse. Surprising take on Haaland, maybe Manchester City were the wrong club for him. Manchester City, surprised, by alleged place breaches. Good news for Madrid, Courtois could make it to the Club World Cup final. Garnico moves away from Madrid, United to renew. Man United close to renewing Delot, Barker miss another target. Chelsea striker Aubameyang could return to Milan. NBA, these were the unsuccessful Kyrie Irving trade offers from the Lakers, Suns and Clippers. Now the news in detail. Messi hits winner as PSG come back against Toulouse. Dutch midfielder Branko van den Boomen gave mid-table Toulouse the lead at the Parc des Princes from a 20th-minute free kick, only for Ashraf Hakimi to curl in the equaliser with half-time approaching. Messi then put PSG in front just before the hour mark with a glorious first-time strike on his left foot low into the corner of the net from just outside the area. It was Messi's 10th League One goal of the season and his 15th for his club this campaign, as the World Cup winner stepped up in the absence of PSG's two other superstar attackers. The Qatar-owned club are now eight points clear at the top of the table from Marseille, who play Nice on Sunday and then host PSG in the French Cup last 16 in midweek. Mbappé will miss that game and the Champions League last 16 first leg against Bayern Munich on February 14 after being ruled out for three weeks with a thigh injury suffered in the 3-1 win at Montpellier last Wednesday. Surprising take on Haaland, maybe Manchester City were the wrong club for him. After Manchester City suffered a frustrating 1-0 loss to Tottenham, in which Erling Haaland was isolated up front and unable to get any shots off. Several pundits have been questioning whether the Norwegian properly fits in with Pep Guardiola's style of play. Signed from Borussia Dortmund in the summer, Holland was expected to make Manchester City even more formidable, but there have been several games in which he has been quiet, even though he has 25 goals in total this Premier League season. He might have picked the wrong club to actually get the best out of him, Jamie Carragher said of Holland on Sky Sports after the Spurs loss. We're not seeing everything of Haaland. City have scored the exact number of goals as last season. He's got 25 of them, but City overall have scored the same number overall. However, they've conceded more and are easier to counter-attack against now. They are a different, and lesser team, with Haaland in the team. That's not his fault. City won't play end-to-end -end football. That's not Pep Guardiola's way. His players don't have the energy or power to play that way. They build up slowly and push the opposition back to their box and play from there. When they lose it they win it back quickly and keep the team pinned back. Haaland has scored 25 league goals and lots of them are ones that come into the box and he puts them in, but we're not seeing the full package of what the player can do because of the team he's joined. Manchester City surprised by alleged place breaches. Manchester City are alleged to have breached league rules requiring provision, in utmost good faith, of accurate financial information that gives a true and fair view of the club's financial position. The alleged breaches span a period from the 2009 10th season to the 2017 18th campaign. The English club were surprised by the Premier League's decision. As a result, the team issued a statement and claimed to have cooperated with the competition in the investigation that began in 2018. Manchester City FC is surprised by the issuing of these alleged breaches of the Premier League rules, particularly given the extensive engagement and vast amount of detailed materials that the EPL has been provided with. The club welcomes the review of this matter by an independent commission to impartially consider the comprehensive body of irrefutable evidence that exists in support of its position. As such we look forward to this matter being put to rest once and for all, City wrote. Guardiola's side could face severe sanctions such as expulsion from the competition, loss of points or the withdrawal of all titles won during the period 2009-2018. Good news for Madrid, Courtois could make it to the club World Cup final. According to FA, 
Thibaut Courtois' injury is not serious, as he is suffering from a muscle problem in his left abductor. Although everything points to the fact that he will not travel to Morocco, the Belgian goalkeeper could still play in a hypothetical final. Garnico moves away from Madrid, United to renew. Manchester United have convinced Alejandro Garnico that his future lies in the Premier League. The Spanish striker rejected their first offer but, according to journalist Nicolo Shearer, the English club have managed to get the 18-year-old to renew his contract. Man United close to renewing De Lott, Barker miss another target. Diogo De Lott is close to renewing his contract with Manchester United. According to the United stand, the Portuguese defender is set to renew thanks to his good performances this season despite almost leaving the club last summer. Chelsea striker Aubameyang could return to Milan. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang will leave Chelsea in the summer after the failure to be registered for the Champions League knockout stages. According to La Gazzetta dello Sport, the Gabon striker could return to Milan. NBA These were the unsuccessful Kyrie Irving trade offers from the Lakers, Suns and Clippers. Kyrie Irving attracted interest from several NBA teams, including the Los Angeles Lakers, Phoenix Suns and Los Angeles Clippers, after asking to be traded by the Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn franchise finally decided to turn down the offers of all the aforementioned teams and sent Irving to the Dallas Mavericks in exchange for Spencer Dinwiddie, Dorian Finney-Smith, a 2027 second-round pick, 2029 first-round pick unprotected, and a 2029 second-round pick. For more sports updates please keep watching our YouTube channel Sportsia or visit our Twitter handle.